What's up, guys? It's the Mago 3 Z1 here. Here we have another reaction to Smash Bracket. Oh, man. I was looking forward to this episode once it got announced. Just two people beating the absolute shit out of each other. I mean, that's every episode, but this time it's pinching. Mm. Today, I'm joined by my really good friend, Zombie Wolden and Wilding. It's when, it's when I would say Wilding was actually here. Yeah, see, you said you just said how, you know, two people fighting up. You're going to see another two people fighting up with Wilding and I. The guy is just, his punctuation is just horrendous. That's a major really. We were supposed to start this recording 24 minutes to go. And, and he's still, still not here. He's responded just, multiple times. He'll be here in a moment. He's still not here. Loves his Minecraft. What can, what can I say? Uh, watch for the next Minecraft fight. Watch him just be here at, like, ten years early, somehow. Yeah. Man, man invents a time machine just to be early to that. <laughs> like, he's calling us up, like, hey, guys, guys, you ready? You ready? Alright, but yeah. Today we're watching Little Mac vs. Min Min. Zombie, do you know anything about these characters before we start? Uh, I actually played Punch Out the 2010 one. I'm pretty sure it's the 2010. So, so the, the so the, I know, I have no idea who that is. So this is like the most recent one. I'm pretty sure, like Mike Tyson's yeah. Punch Out, like with uh, with like the little an all the animated stuff, 3D and stuff, all that. Yeah, yeah. Punch okay. Out. Yeah. So initial thoughts. I know fuck all about arms. I know oh, a know. bit. I know a bit about Punch Out just from like videos I watched. Uh, right off the bat, I I think Little Ma Little Mac stomps. Yes, I mean, granted, I mean they're they're like gimmicky a lot of those people, but I mean, uh, L Little Mac has fought, fought Donkey Kong and won. Huh. Like, my bad. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Whoa, who is who is this stranger? Who, who is this? You're not supposed to be here. Who who that? Who let hobos in here? Oh shit! My bad. We are oh well, there you go, okay good. Alright. <laughs> SMH, SMH. Oh but yeah, like anyhow you know, <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, Wilding, welcome. No, not welcome. It's been fucking twenty <laughs> over now over twenty minutes. Over it's been over twenty minutes and you are not here. You said I'll be there in a second. Me when I lie. Where are you? Where are you? You're just not here. You're not here. <laughs> Yeah, because I Kirby had to drag me. <laughs> you <laughs> were not there. You literally messaged him before I did it saying I'll be there. <laughs> My bad. That's some age. Link no more for joining no us eventually. Mm. But uh yeah, mm. recording's already started. We're roasting the shit out of you. Well welcome welcome. Mm. My bad. And you're eating in the mic. Is minus eating. Five. Oh my minus, minus ten. What the hell is this? I need a noise pressure on. Oh, uh, okay. If, if this is if this is a test wild thing, you would be being held back right now. Let it be known. Anyhow, as I was saying, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure Little Max Stomps, he is scaling the Donkey Kong. I'm pretty sure that, that just blows everything Min Min has out of the water, but I'll have to see beforehand, mm -hmm. but that's just initial thoughts. Wilding, do you have any experience with with punch out of arms? I'm going to guess no for arms, so let me ask the the real question. Do you have any experience with punch out? Uh, I have no experience with punch out, and I have a lot of experience in arms. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah, think about it. He's a child. He he's played arms. <laughs> he's not punch out. Punch out. He was like one when punch out happened. <laughs> Last punch okay. out game. Uh, no, I, right. I love. I actually, I'm, I'm, I remember fighting Min Min. Uh, I remember those. Those were good days on the Switch. Those were fun. Back in the day in 2018. <laughs> All right. I, I, well, I didn't say back in the day. I said good days, not good old days. The good old days. The good old days. Back when you were in kindergarten. <laughs> Getting nostalgic and all for 2018. <laughs> <laughs> that's good days, not good old days, bro. All right, all right. They weren't that good, bro. <laughs> good old days. So they weren't I'm... that good, bro, Joe. <laughs> all right, all right, that's all right. what it sounds like. <laughs> all right, so obviously I'm rooting for Little Mac in this. The zombie, I'm guessing you're the same? Yes. So, uh, wow. Min Min oh. got this. Okay, okay. I think, I think I'm 3-0 and right now for um, predictions. Uh, well, no, for Smash Bracket, no, yeah, I I got Ness correctly, so yeah, you got Ness correctly, and then over on Cross of the Coliseum, you you got Link vs. Darth Vader correct. 
Yes. Which you should totally um, go watch that video as well. Mm. All right. Just had a plug. Okay, we ready? Yes. Let's do this. She's two of Nintendo's best fighters, Little Mac and Min Min. I'm Ink, and this is Smash Bracket, the show where we put every character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate into a giant animated fighting tournament to figure out who's canonically the strongest. And to figure that out, we gotta start with our first fighter at only 17 years old, coming in at 107 pounds and four. Still older than Wilding. Tall, the Bruiser from the Bronx, Little Mac. <laughs> All right, let's let's get into this. Anybody works harder than me, so I'm a very hard-working fighter. I'm probably one of the hardest-working fighters of this generation. Little Mac has come to be known as the Bruiser from the Bronx. For as long as he could remember, Mac wanted to be a top-level boxer in the World Video Boxing Association. Uh, unfortunately, with his small stature, he was starting from a severe disadvantage. He spent years looking to make a name for himself, but no matter how many fights he did, he got beaten down time and time again. Eventually taking so many losses that a promoter told him to throw in the towel altogether. He was born a loser from the Bronx, he would always be a loser from the Bronx, and he didn't have what it takes to be a real boxer. Fortunately for Little Mac, after this hard Wow! Season, okay, no, you are not about to diss my, my boy Little Mac like that. A previous <sighs> heavyweight world champion, Doc Lewis. Through all the bruises and defeats, Doc saw the heart of a champion within Mac and took him in as his protege. Under Doc's guidance, Mac began one of the toughest training regimens ever devised, practicing for days and days on end with almost no sleep. Eventually, though, the time for training had passed. Doc loses Chocobar solos all of uh, all of Smash Bracket, let's be honest. Frenchman who called himself Glass yeah. Joe. They battled it out, and for the first time, Mac actually won. But he had a long way to go if he was going to be champion. So he continued. I'm pretty sure all of us could beat Glass Joe. Best fighters. Never oh, yeah. hope along the way. And these weren't your average boxers either. For example, take the fighter named Great Tiger. The he average had the ability humans. to teleport around the ring and create after images to mess with his opponents while fighting. Mac had no trouble taking him out despite this. Maybe due to the fact that he's so fast that he's moving his arms to block attacks at nearly 30 miles per hour. Great Tiger was far from his only skilled opponent too. Take Mr. Sandman, who was strong enough to break a stone wall with almost no effort. Or Don Flamenco, who punched this bowl nearly 1500 feet into the air. This goes without saying, but he would have had to have been hitting with some serious power here. Hundreds and hundreds of times stronger he than even the most powerful He punched him 1500 feet in the air? Which, yep. I guess might be obvious by the distinct lack of boxers punching bulls into the air with I'm sorry, Shin Shin. When adjusting for the surface area of a boxing glove, this punch comes out to about 4.75 kilojoules per centimeter squared. To put that number into perspective, that's like a gram of TNT being detonated across every square centimeter of your face with each attack. Little Mac's able to take this damage and dish out Little similar amounts cannon. of damage with his strongest yep. attack, the Star Punch. With this, he was able to knock out Bald Bull in a single attack, who's tough enough to withstand the charge of a raging bull. There are a surprising number of bull-related feats in this franchise. <laughs> to gain access to this max-powered Star Punch, all Mac needs to do is land three regular hits in a row without being hit himself. Mac doesn't just pack power, but he also mixes it with some serious speed. Mac is able to enhance his perception and movement to a level so fast that the world seems slowed down in comparison. Taking a look at this scene, we can measure the slowed down time against the distance that Mac's punch covers. The punch itself comes out in only two frames, making this attack speed nearly 33 miles per hour. Mac makes full use of the speed with his signature okay. strategy of looking for an opening in his opponent's defenses and then closing the gap to punish their mistakes, which is even it's easier the, uh, character. that allows his punches to come out at uh, six, six miles per hour. Well, that's, uh, that's disappointing. Right. SMH. What makes Mac a true threat, though, isn't his strength, speed, or durability. A little underwhelming. Mac is constantly learning from and adapting to his opponents. It's hard to emphasize just how good Mac became. In this comic... Mac was tasked with running around the entire city while also fighting off a hundred men trying to take him down. Before they began There's comics? and Doc Lewis had to run them down with a truck, uh, I love him so much. Why? Mac was actually doing super well and was on track to beat all of them and finish the race. Not only this, but Mac went on to win the entire WVBA championship time and time again. And he even took out the scariest video game character of all time, Mike Tyson. Not only did Mac win his first Damn. WBBA championship, but he defended that title over and over, becoming a legendary boxer with a win streak like no one had ever seen in the WBBA. In fact, he was so good that when it became time to retire, he decided that he wanted to go out with one last big bang. 
So he gloved up, took to the ring, and fought through 14 different opponents back to back with almost no break in between. 13 of these fighters were opponents that he'd faced off before. But the last one was the freaking Donkey Let's Kong, go. Which I'm surprised. Oh my god. It feels like one step removed from a fight in the Roman Coliseum. And while this isn't the moon punching version of the character we all know and love, a human beating an ape in combat is still really impressive. But anyway, all 13 of his opponents had advanced their skills. Okay, so he automatically like unscaled Donkey Kong. There goes that. And adding new moves yeah. to the repertoire. But Max still took them out. Not only did he defend his title one last time against these fighters, but he was also able to surpass his teacher and take out the former heavyweight champion himself, Doc Lewis. Max started off as a scrawny teen who couldn't be a single opponent, but through sheer grit rose through the ranks to prove that he was truly worthy of being the world champion. But he never let that fame go to his head. Once he even donated all of his winnings to his opponents so that they could build new schools in their home country. Though his time in the ring was brief, Little Mac's legacy would go on to influence the WVBA for generations to come. But for those who really knew him, it wouldn't be the championship belt that they remembered. They'd see him for what he truly was. The scrappy underdog who fought against all odds time and time again and refused to give up no matter how many times he got punched out. Once upon a time, life across the planet developed a strange genetic mutation that caused their bodies to extend to unnatural lengths. What, it, this bizarre phenomenon okay, Mr. occurred Fantastic. in animals and most notably, humans, affecting over 20% of the world's population. It usually manifested itself during teenage years in the middle of the night, and while it could manifest in a few different ways, the most common effect of this mutation was 35-foot extendable corkscrew arms. And this quirk was almost uncontrollable to its host. That is is until an organization called the Arms Labs developed a mask that allowed the carriers to control their abilities to a precise degree. And the same company that provided these masks to the populace also did what any charitable organization would do. Launch a fighting competition that allows the mutants to punch each other in the face for the rest of the world's enjoyment. And thus the Arms Labs was do. born. It was a great equalizer yeah. across the planet. By fighting to the top, anyone with enough skill could be declared the Arms Champion and guarantee a life of fame and riches. Many people People with the arms ability went to try out for the league, but only the best 600 were selected to compete. And among these 600 fighters, only one could become the champion. And one of these fighters rose uniquely above the rest. Meet Min Min, the Mandarin-speaking ramen bomber. Min Min specializes in hitting, throwing, and kicking her opponents to deal damage and deflect incoming strikes. She can launch her attacks at over 14 miles per hour, but with the assistance of her special rush mode ability, she can increase her combat speed to up to 70 miles per hour. And this speed allows Min Min to make full use of her extendable arm. Okay, so she has she speed advantages already. That's kind of sad. And change between them on the yeah, fly. a she lot faster, a like two times faster. At her disposal. But when she entered the league, she yeah. came in with her preferred ones. Let's start with her she most. She has iconic, a lot of hacks too. Like look this at her weapon fucking can games. not only punch you in the face, but it can also shoot devastating lasers at you. The Ram Ram, on the other hand, can be launched like a boomerang to hit her opponents from unexpected angles. And her most powerful arm of all is the Megawatt, which essentially is an electricity-infused. Ball. Her arms are strong enough to shatter this huge slab of concrete in just one hit. We can adjust for the surface area of her pointiest arms that this is possible with to show that Min Min would need to be hitting with around 1500 kilojoules per centimeter squared. To put that in perspective, that's 90% the caloric energy stored within a pie. What are these analogies? Gosh. <laughs> To put that in perspective, that's like slamming you with over half a pound of TNT with each hit. And Min Min is more than capable of taking comparable attacks and remaining standing. That's not to say she's impervious though. She does have two notable weaknesses. First off, three powerful hits to her arm can disable them for a few seconds, oh. causing them to fall limp to the ground and leaving her wide What do you open. know? You need three hits for a KO punch. The most deadly of all was the only fucking discovered after some covert star punch Min Min. Min that's probably the is yep. long bads. Uh, Cause it makes her arms soggy. So uh, I, I guess if she's fighting the crocodile from Where's My Water, she'd better be on high alert. Uh, I, I want to move on from this. In some tellings of the arm story, Min Min was able to rise to the very top of the competition, fighting through every other competitor and cementing herself as the greatest fighter in the league to bring fame and glory to the power of ramen. Anyway, now that both of our fighters are set, it's time to get into our fight. But first, I'd like to urge you to check out our Patreon for behind-the-scenes looks at our battles, music, and works in progress. 
progress. Several of our scripts have to be significantly cut down for the sake of length in the animation, and if you want to see those there, feel free to check. All right, out. I, I, I feel, I feel little Max still has so this. Pay what you're able to, and a world of content will open up to you. With that out of the way, let's get into the fight and figure what out who think will on to the next round of the Smash Bracket and who will be eliminated. Wilding? Let's get into it. Oh, Is he gone that? again? <laughs> All right. All right, boys. Team Little Mac. Right. Very first fight, Min Min for the win! Chin Chin, I'm learning. It's Min Min. Yeah, I'm not gonna write. Is he being booed right now? <laughs> yeah, they love Min Min. Damn, Damn okay. Damn. Okay. They don't want his ass. Mac, listen up. You see, this is the underdog story. Yeah, this might be her turf. This might be her cry. <sighs> This is going to be your belt. Come on. Come on. Fuck him up, little Mac. Here we go. No, nah, she got that. Damn. Damn. Wow, they really switched up. That's not how it should be. Oh, oh yeah, because there's storm move. You got it, Doc. That's my little man. That's nothing, that's nothing to Mac. Oh. Gonna stop fighting soon. He's tank worse than that. He's tank worse than that. Yeah, punch it right oh, back. No. Punch it right back. Oh shit. You have to get the three hits. That's um. She won that round. Alright, round. It's gonna kill me out there. I can't understand a thing she's saying neither. But I don't think it's good. Listen, son. Yeah, she hit you good, but you're just like those arms of hers. No matter how many times you get punched out, you always spring right back into action. Yowza! That guy sure is tough. What's on the arm mascot? Yeah, he's got bite to him, but you're one tough noodle yourself. Remember what your mom used to say? It's ramen time. What? 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 It's what? Rama time? What, what the You're fuck is that said? Uh. And stealing it like it's home plate. Just a few more good hits. And it'll Ramen be time. Now. Yeah. You got it, Doc. <laughs> That's Japanese for back. Hey. The best fighter win. Yeah. Let's give him a good show. Wait. What, you speak English? speak English? <laughs> Oh, damn, damn. damn! There goes that guy. Wait, you can speak English? <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know how good that got me. Oh, 
so close every time. When is she gonna go in her star mode? Oh shit. Uh huh? Oh, snap up a crack! Oh, he's not gonna win this. Her cause nuclear fission. And there you go! Damn. In a series that's been full of some intense, high stake fights, it was really nice to have something more grounded this time around. Both fighters brought some advantages to the table, but this was a clear-cut victory for Min Min. Little Mac's a master of boxing Let's under go! the WBA rules, but Min Min brought a challenge to the table that Mac just wasn't prepared to deal with. Not only was she mixing things up with grabs, kicks, and lethal weaponry, but she also managed to maintain a serious stat advantage. Let's start with a relatively unorthodox stat in debates like this, reach. In any fight, but especially fist fights, the distance that a fighter can attack is a serious advantage, even when it's just a matter of a few inches. A boxer's range is measured from fingertip to fingertip, and someone Little Mac size would have an average range of just under 5 feet. Compare that to Min Min, who even without her extendable arms would have a height advantage, but with her arms stretching out nearly 35 feet on both sides, this gives her a 70 foot range which becomes a serious advantage. And that's without talking about the fighter's physicality, either. Little Mac was undoubtedly strong, but his full power star punches require him to have some setup, which, if you remember, requires four punches in a row. Three to set up the attack, and one for the star punch itself. In order for Little Mac to take Min Min out of the fight, he'd need to land about 193 fully powered star punches, which comes out to a total of nearly 800 uninterrupted punches. While if Min Min was able to hit him a single time, he would need to start his star punch over from zero again, setting him back. But also, a single hit from Min Min would kill him almost immediately. This is extra dangerous for Little Mac if he were to ever try blocking an attack rather than slipping out of the way, since the deadly force would still be connected. Just one hit from her would take Mac out of the fight altogether, and this advantage was only furthered by the fact that Mac normally held a small speed did, advantage. Did they just forget about the feet where uh, the, the Grand Canyon broke the broke the wall for Mac? Over double what he like the ball punch it wasn't the strongest thing they gave him. Pick up on her weaknesses and jab her arms three times while they're out in order to disable them and get some solid hits. But remember that Mac would still need to get almost 800 of these before Min Min gets a single one which would be extra tricky with her close ranged options like kicking. And even then, this only disables her arms for two seconds. Mac could also theoretically hit Min Min's mask off her face, but even if he knew about this, which is very unlikely, Min Min gets hit constantly by attacks hundreds of times stronger than what Mac is dishing out. It's unlikely that he'd be able to get anywhere close to being able to do this. While Little Mac is extremely skilled and he's taken down incredibly tricky opponents, Min Min has fought her way to the top of a global tournament through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fighters, at a bare minimum. And just like Mac's opponents, these foes had tricks up their sleeves, like teleporting or otherwise mixing up their attacks. Min Min just proved to be too much of a pasta powerhouse for Little Mac to overcome. At the end of the day, Min Min is the winner and will be moving on to the next round. Of all right, round. all right, fair enough. Next so, I, I have some disagreements, but let's see who's next. Too realistic. Why is it so realistic? Pick me! Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh! These climbers, damn, okay. Oh! Is he actually like a strong character? I didn't think he was a character. I thought he was just. No, he, he was actually a character. Oh, wait. Oh, it's oh, the Piranha Plant. Oh, Mario vs. Mega Man! <laughs> I guess she's joining up with them. <laughs> All right, that's that's it. So All basically, right. what I'm so basically what I'm hearing is GG easy. Oh, shut up! The bad that's ending happened while they're happened. getting well, while they're getting it correct. The Both bad ending. you guys vote for vote for him, and I vote for her and I win. That's basically what I'm hearing. The bad ending happened today. The, we the, got the bad the hero, ending. The, the, hero, the heroes didn't win today. <laughs> I, I, I came here late and I still took a W. 
SMH. Hank, why'd you have to do this to us? Why couldn't Little Mac win so we could rub it in his face? <laughs> I, I I literally had hope throughout the entire thing. I definitely didn't like apologize to the guy I voted for. I I I just I, I think I need to take a break from this just because of how good I am. It's unfair. It's unfair. No, nah, no, nah, you're, you're gonna be here so for the, the next first one. Time you got it correct. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You've I, never, you, this is the first time ever you got any of the Smash Bracket predictions correct. Um, I think you're lying. Um, really? I'm gonna leave because of slander. God so dang it! Like I, on Smash Bracket and Crossover Coliseum, ever since I started reacting with you guys, I've gotten I've got absolute zero on on, on the corrections. You that just, is a skill issue. This, this, so basically, what we're hearing is. Whatever Tiger predicts, just don't predict that one. You know that you know that one's gonna lose. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. My, my, my record. You have to predict it with me because I'm just the goat. My yeah. record for the current for the current season death battle, spotless. Just saying. Mm, true. Mm. All right. Well, uh, I think I all right. Well, I'll see. I'll see you. Well, all right. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Link will be in the description as always. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the original video, and maybe like, comment, subscribe to this one too. It will help a lot. I'm almost a 700. I'm literally one sub away, so you could be the difference. But yeah, that will do it for this video. You guys have anything, any closing words? Um, bro, for guys, sometimes, that was true. Some, for sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the heroes don't win, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes the villain was the hero all along. No, zombie. I, th yeah. I think. I think your words are very wise. Thank you. Wow. Okay. And so I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.